welcome to NPTEL NOC an introductory course on point set topology part 2 so today we shall begin chapter 11 a short chapter on compact open topology here we will discuss the question of topologizing a family of functions from one set to another set but with some specific topologies on both sides for example we have discussed the banach space the banach algebra of all real and com real or complex set functions from one set to another set which are bounded then its subspace wherein x is some topological space you take just continuous functions continuous and bounded functions right later on we even studied some specific properties of these spaces such as stone weierstrass theorem ascoli's theorem and so on right so function spaces have a lot of importance in uh, mathematics after all arguably we may just begin with the set y power x this notation is just for set of all functions from x to y it also is equivalent to another picture namely product of copies of y as many as there are elements of x so you can think of each copy of y indexed by alpha and then take the product indexed by x and then take the product so that is the same thing as all set theoretic function from x to y but that will involve only the topology on y product topology has nothing to do with the indexing set x but we want to bring the topology of y also in, in the picture so let us restrict ourselves to subsets of all continuous functions so that is a set theoretically is a subset of set of all functions from x to y okay now the central problem here is to approximate a given continuous function with some special properties maybe or totally arbitrary continuous function by some subclass of functions such as polynomial functions so that is stone weierstrass theorem right or you may say just weierstrass theorem in the case of functions defined on the closed uh, intervals or something like that or it could be smooth functions or it could be embeddings and various things are there a lot of okay or you may want to approximate by just uh, what are piecewise linear functions and so on okay so what is the meaning of approximation approximations of functions is nothing but the study of convergence properties in the ambient space namely all continuous functions on x to y of course this will demand that we have a topology on cx see x as a topology y as a topology and you have to take all continuous functions and one way is that you can take the product topology and restrict it still it will not involve the topology of x itself only in the in the choice of subset you have got this one what about other subsets what are the open sets there also you want to involve the topology of x in some way right that is what we want to concentrate upon so the simple answer provided by taking the product topology right because cxy is after all a subset of y power x right the subspace topology has some decent properties but for example what happens if you have a sequence fn from x to y Uh, which converges to a function from x to y in the product topology that just means that 
each coordinate function here f n of x that is point wise converge f n of x converges to f x this is point wise convergence we have seen that point wise convergence of continuous functions need not imply the limit is continuous so we will be going out of the our aim b and c namely c x y so what we need is in this particular with this particular uh, point of view product topology is not quite satisfactory before we carry on with this discussion let us fix up some notation so that we can discuss it more carefully okay note that there is a canonical function which we will denote by e e representing the evaluation map x cross y power x to y take a point x here and you take a function from x to y you evaluate that function at this point e of x f is f x okay next we can define little more complicated function here by the way this is just uh, the exponential law as far as sets are considered i am just taking a set of all functions here all functions from z to all functions from x to y so it is y power x whole power z to all functions from x cross z to y okay so i am going to define a function here namely take a function from z to y power x g product with the identity map of x then compose it with evaluation see the map is from z to y power x identity function from x to x itself so you get a map x to x y power z to x cross y power x and then you can compose it with e so that composition we will denote by psi g so that will be automatically a function from x cross z to y okay and for every g inside a map from z to y power x okay this this is the exponential correspondence it is easy to see that it is a bijection conversely whenever you have a function from x cross z to y you can restrict it to you know sectional maps namely partial maps fix a z and look at it as a function from x to y so you get for each z you get a function from x to y that function you can call it g and come back here okay so if you write the cardinalities of each is capital s capital y and so on in little x little y so on then this is nothing but y power x power z is y power x z the cardinality of the product is the product of a cardinality so this is the law of exponentials here y power x power z is y power x power x z for the the law of exponentials for multiplication of natural numbers is a consequence of this one actually okay that is a very special case when all the sets in order are finite so indeed so i have described this one already let me describe it again given any function from x cross z to y fix the second slot z for each z let f z denote the function x going to f of x z so this is a partial function right then i have a function phi from y power x cross z okay that means this function is y power y x cross y to z x x cross z to y right to y power x Raise to z given by the other way around. P of f for each function here, you associate f z. F z f underscore z is this function. Okay, for each z, take f f, f of z f of little z here. So that is the function. So that will be a function from z to y power x. So you can just check that this phi is the inverse of this side. Okay. 
so do that so that the rest of the material here will be easy for you to understand all right so you go through this that this is pure set theory you must have done it uh, uh, elsewhere but now right now get familiar with these notations so i claim that it is e straight forward check that phi is the inverse of psi at least as a just a set function now now when we have take product topology for example on take y as a topological space y power x cross z is a product topology y power x is a itself is a product topology and then take the product topology on y power x power z also if you take product product topology is everywhere starting with any topological space y the point is that this psi and this phi they may not satisfy this condition namely set of continuous functions within them they may not go to continuous functions there one way or the other way. okay we cannot ensure that so even with that respect in that respect product topology is not satisfactory all right so we have to look for better answers we are also familiar with a partial answer in the case of when you take real or complex wired functions on a uh, topological space x okay usually x itself was also compact metric space and then it these were closed and th these functions were bounded also so this we formed a banach space banach algebra on which we have studied many uh, uh, other uh, results also okay now we don't want to restrict to x to be a metric space okay that is all we are going to achieve namely take any topological space there is one which will imitate the the supreme topology on this one the topology of uniform convergence so it will imitate to a large extent very good imitation and that is called the compact open topology so that much motivation let us start today module 51 the earnest study of compact open topology there are many other topologies on function spaces the study of various topologies itself is a very you know uh, interesting and uh, thriving business in function analysis after all so some more notation here for any subset k of y k of x and u of y let us denote this bracket k u to be all functions from x to y such that f of k is contained inside u so this is where we are imposing functions that we take you know some restrictions has been imposed the function should take our q1 k inside u okay another notation namely this langle 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 bracket this like inner product okay so i will call this also a bracket after all physicists do call this as just a bracket also okay bracket k u is all those you know square bracket k u intersect with cxy condition is the same but only take continuous functions that's all now given x and y consider the family s of all subsets now both x and y are topological spaces okay s equal to all ku square bracket k is compact and u is open so that is suggestive uh, that's why i have put k here in uh, in a subset of x and subsets of y i have taken u k is compact u is open okay the symbol represent the same same things only now qualification is that k must be <laughs> compact and u must be open take this collection this collection declare it as a 
sub base for a topology call that let us denote it by co call that compact open topology i can do this one okay on the entire y power x you remember this square bracket is all function okay so that will be perhaps different from the product topology let us see ha huh? so this compact open topology and y power x finally we will come to this subspace cxy okay from now onwards on cxy we shall take the induced topology from the compact open topology unless specified otherwise okay there are so many different topologies on cxy but right now we are going to take compact topology clear the family if you take round this uh, brackets okay uh, ku that means what only continuous functions are taken here k compact u open this that that will form a subspace for cxy if you have base for some larger space intersect it with a, a subspace for larger space intersect it with a subset of that that will give you a subspace for the smaller space okay note that the collection of all x u now i am specifying little x instead of k okay clearly singleton points are compact so what happens to this one we would like to know these are would we'll give you a sub base for the product topology what is x comma u all functions whose x coordinate is inside u which is if you take pi x as projection map to the x coordinate okay this is nothing but pi x inverse of u so those are some base that we already know so therefore you see that at least the definition this compact open topology is some kind of a generalization of the product topology okay this compact open topology is finer not only generalization in the idea but it's finer because all the sub bases which are sub bases for the product topology they are there therefore every open subset in a product topology is there and that is the meaning of that this topology is finer than the product topology okay therefore when you have introduced more open sets convergence becomes stringent for example immediately you can see that convergence with respect to this compact open topology immediately implies convergence with respect to namely the point wise convergence with respect to product topology okay point wise convergence is immediate okay so what is the meaning of this one x comma u controlled only points whereas now we are controlling compact subsets or the functions have been controlled over the compact subsets is control over the functions not over the compact okay so here is the theorem the co okay this topology is finer than the product topology on cxy it is hausdorff respectively regular if y is hausdorff respectively regular okay so these two are more or less consequence of the first uh, observation which we have already seen the, uh, the topology co is finer than the product topology because it contains the sub base itself contains all the sub base for the product topology as soon as it is finer than a hausdorff topology it will be also hausdorff if y is hausdorff the product topology hausdorff is old game for us therefore it is hausdorff regularity is not that quick so let us see why regularity is also true okay 
So, assume y is regular. It suffices to show that given f belonging to k comma u, these are basic open sets, right? Some basic open sets. There is a closed neighborhood w of f such that w is contained inside k u. Instead of doing it for all open sets, you can just do it for some basic open sets and then you can take intersections, okay, then that will prove for all open sets. Also. Now, f belongs to k u implies f of k is contained inside u. Since k is compact, f k is compact. So, if you have a compact subset of an open set, what happens inside a regular space? So, this is all, all old old game, we know that. No? By regularity, there is an open subset V of Y such that this whole compact set is contained inside V, contained inside V bar, contained inside U. Okay. Clearly, F belongs to this K comma V now, because F of K is gone inside V. But k v bracket is contained k v bar, v bar being larger, that is contained k u. Okay. So, now k v bar is nothing but intersection of all x v bar where x runs over k. Remember, x v bar means all functions which take a point x inside v bar. Okay, if all the points given a function, if all the points of k are inside v bar, f k is inside v bar and conversely. So, this is the intersection of all these x v bar. Now, what are x v bars? This is not pi x inverse of v bar in the product topology. So, that is a closed in the product topology, therefore, it is closed in the finer topology also, CO topology also. And this is the intersection of closed sets. Right, so v x bar is actually closed in a product topology, and hence it is closed in C O also. So this is the closed subset. So what we have found out, we have found out f is inside you know, this open set, contained inside this open inside this closed closure closed subset contained inside the given k. So that is regularity for the C O topology. Over from now onward we shall use the notation k u this bracket or the, the ordinary bracket k v only when k is compact and u is open. Okay, this is just a lazy way of saying, but sometimes I may forget it that is all. You do not write this kind of notation unless k is compact and u is open. All right. So, let us uh, take a break here. Next time, we shall study carefully the exponential correspondence which you have introduced today for only sets. Now, we will study it on continuous functions, okay, on CO, with CO topology. Thank you.